Here's my 2005 show hauler, 45 foot tandem twin screw. Has two slides. Uh, the slides are currently out. 450 horsepower Mercedes, 12 speed automatic transmission. Runs perfect. Just got back from 7,000 mile trip. Opposing slides inside. We'll do an inside tour. We're just gonna go through each of the boxes so you can see what it has. Look at the outside here. The awning was replaced right before I bought it at the cost of $25,000. So it has a brand new Gerard awning on it. All right, we're gonna walk around and go door to door. This door is one large open bay. The lights in these were replaced with LEDs, carpeted. Again, one large bay with LED light. All the handles were just replaced. All matching keys. Another large carpeted bay with LED. Large carpeted bay with LED. This chassis is highly optioned has dual aluminum wheels. Also powered rear step upgrade. Did not come with that. It was upgraded to have a power rear step. This bay here, I need to unlock. Again, all the keys, there's about 25 bay door keys. They're all keyed exactly the same. This bay, has your controller for the rear door uh, which plugs in here to run the rear gate here's the rear door and entrance has upgraded window with the blinds in it rear vent uh, the rear vent does the venting of the garage has outdoor spotlights on the outside, two of them. They're controlled inside. Lighted show hauler handle. Here's the rear. Rear hitch. Lighting. Rear gate. 1600 pound rear gate. Extends, I believe, to 10 feet so that you could load things into the rear. Backup cameras up there, has all LED lights around the outside. This very rear door is your generator. Generator has 1,618 hours. 12 and a half KW. This bay is just a carpeted bay with an LED light. Twelve gallon hot water heater with electric uh, backup so that you can, when you're plugged in, it'll heat the water without using propane. It has the Marine Co stainless 50 amp connection, 30,000 BTU propane heater. Uh, power cord is stored in here when not in use. And that's the 
pump controller for the shower, the rear shower. Another bay. This bay has the connection for the gray water and black water. They're separate. They are three inch connections. Uh, they are tied together so that they can go through this port here in the floor so that you can close this bay. That was upgraded originally. It was two separate connections. It was upgraded to one connection to make dumping much easier. This is your propane bay. Very large propane tank on board. Uh, obviously more storage can be in here as well underneath the propane uh, to store blocks or other associated things. This is the very front bay. Um, that's the chassis batteries and some other just generic storage. Uh, an additional power plug was wired up here in the front with GFI in case you want to plug stuff in here. Uh, one of the battery shutoffs for the main chassis in here and then the battery se separator, the 200 amp shore power that divides out the, um, so that when you are plugged in, it charges these chassis batteries, which were replaced and charges the main batteries. And then it has an air hook up here separately so that you can um, hook up an air hose. What I like about this unit is that to put fuel in it, um, which has 60 gallons on this side and 60 gallons on the other side, you don't have to flip a bay door open like on the newer ones because of def. It's very easy to fuel. Um, here's another shot of the outside on this side. Doesn't have a window on this slide in the middle, but it does have windows on the ends. Those are brand new. They were added when the interior was remodeled. And there you go, there's the other side. The other thing you'll notice is, is that they went through and painted all the hardware and everything white. Uh, the roof line is white. All the trim is white. We did add black handles all the way across to add some contrast. We added a black hot water heater door to add some contrast. There you go, there's the power cord on the ground running to the back because we leave it plugged in. This also has a very large leveling system, much larger than other show haulers. This was spec specifically for this unit. These hydraulic rams are three inch cylinders. They have the ability to lift way over 80,000 pounds. So it, it very easily levels much larger unit than the Bigfoot unit. The Bigfoot only runs a one and a half inch cylinder, so it's almost double the size. Uh, these are the two freshwater fills for the freshwater and then the vents for the refrigerator inside. We're gonna go inside and do a uh, inside tour now. All right, we're gonna start here right at the entrance. First of all, this is our VIA certified, which a lot of these truck chassis some of the manufacturers are not certified. Um, walking in, the stairs have cubbies, uh, the, or the boot step or boot storage underneath here in the front. Uh, that was added. Was not did not originally come with that. Uh, it was upgraded to the newer style rubber entrance way that Show Hauler does. Has many many lights. It is a very, very nice upgrade to have all these lights. A lot of them don't have anywhere near the lights um, this unit has. Has the billet handles. Makes it very easy to climb in and out of. 
has the awning control here at the front that opens the awning up. I'd open the awning, but I believe it's gonna hit the tree next to us. We'll walk in and look around. This is the original sofa sleeper. It is a jackknife. It opens up into a large bed. It does have some storage underneath and it also has seat belts. It has day night shades all the way around. It has the slide control over here. These are automatic. So you just push the button, they go in and out. It has lots of LED lighting. stand back you can see that outlets in this coach are everywhere there are tons of additional outlets that are not in a lot of these coaches because it was used originally as a mobile office and we're just showing some of the lights now this overhead bunk was originally closed off I do have the hardware if you wanted to close it back up. Uh, we used it as a sleeping area for the kids. There's a foam pad. There's lighting up there. There's outlets. Some of the original wiring for the coach. There's a ton of speaker wire ran through here that we left in place to put over uh, if we wanted to put surround sound back in. Even has a overhead projector screen which is the box up top there that could be used as a projector again lots of places where the light switches are uh, it has an abundance uh, in fact I, I guess i could turn on there's the lighting for the overhead sorry move back so it isn't too bright uh, but it is lit up there in the it says storage but originally uh, it was storage now it's overhead bunk area and then, of course, the lighting for the front. Lots of three-way switches. Over here is where a lot of the work was. We put these new floors in all the way through the coach. High-end Pergo, top of the line. Uh, Scratch-resistant, waterproof. Uh, very durable, long-lasting floor. The entire slide was done with the wood floor. Uh, a lot of them, like over here, are done in carpet. Uh, because we had uh, this taken apart, we uh, put the flooring over there too. This sofa um, turns into a lounge, but also folds out into a bed. So there's more bed. We put the large TV. It's a 65-inch 4K Samsung on this wall. We put additional outlets on this wall so that... Um, you could plug phones in or charging or, or iPads or anything that you were using. This couch is approximately $5,000. Uh, it does convert these, these right here, these cushions. It might take two hands. No, maybe not. I don't know if I can get this open. Oh, I can with one hand. They pull out. The cushion... You pull up here in the front, the cushion flips up. Sorry. There you go. And then this goes in. And it pulls out into a very large area. Uh, and then, of course, they fold in. This, honestly, I have not used it, but it folds out into a bed. You lift up. You can see, sorry, and then that folds into a large bed. Very large bed, beadboard on the back wall, of course, all real wood. This unit is double insulated, which means it has the foam all through all the back of it. It also has the bubble wrap. It has extra sound deading material to be quieter. Uh, these were all upgrades added to the original unit. Uh, this unit was very overbuilt. And we can flip that back. But this side pulls out as well. Same as that other side. Again, it has the lower lighting. Um, there's one right there. They're all LED lights. 
great at night where you don't need a very bright interior. Magazine rack. We used to store iPads in the kids' coloring books. This unit has ducted air conditioning and three air conditioning units. Let's see if I can stand back. That's a direct AC unit. It originally was a fantastic fan. It was upgraded uh, to add another air conditioning unit. This access panel and that swivel on the ceiling is uh, where they had the projector hung and could easily, underneath that panel is more outlets, uh, more plugs, and more wiring that could be used for a multitude of things. There's the central, the center air conditioning unit. It is ducted on half the unit. I believe that air conditioning unit does this side. And then the other air conditioning unit does the other side and that's the one in the rear. So the air conditioning is tied into the garage area and the rear garage is air conditioned and has a ducted AC, which is very rare. Uh, most of the time they're not. Uh, here's the above, more storage. There is the um, generator startup, the manuals. There's the outside for the awning. These slides are six inches taller raised. The roof on the unit is six inches taller. So you have tons of room. There's a mirror. Here we are going into the galley. There's the dinette. This does pop down into a bed. It is Corian. It does have additional underneath lighting. It does have lighting specifically for it over top. There's all your control panels. Lots of storage up top. This is more storage. There's outlets in there. Every This unit has so many plugs and outlets in places. Um, all right. Carbon monoxide, duct, air conditioning control, another carbon monoxide. Lighting and duct vent in the bathroom. Now here's the bathroom. Marine toilet, sink, has the fan and the lights, medicine cabinet, has storage in here, above the toilet, towel holder, works great. Going into the kitchen area. These are the pump control, water heater for gas and electric. These are for pump, or the, I'm sorry, the tank heaters, to turn on the tank heaters. Keys, drawers, lots of drawers. Underneath here, there's storage. Some storage here in front of the sink. Double porcelain sink. Upgraded residential faucet. There's also the upgraded residential faucet in the bridge up top storage here. A couple things I still need to take out of the unit. This is a three burner, or I'm sorry, two burner. Propane cooktop. All Corian hard surface countertops. This is a divider that can be pulled out and section that off so you can't see it. These are the more lights, under counter lights. Over here you have a refrigerator. It is works off battery, electric and propane. Here is the uh, trash. A little bit of storage on the side. Huge storage up here with some hanging organizers.
you can see the floor was done throughout the entire coach. All right, go into the garage. Very large garage, 13 foot, tons of E-Track. There's the door coming in from the back. And you see the blinds in the glass, those were upgraded. This is just a cover. We leave it in place. Comes right out. This is just a little storage unit. Can be easily taken out. We're just gonna leave it in there for the next buyer in case they want it. Control for the air conditioning. Of course, more outlets. Those are wired into the system so you can plug stuff in. That would constantly receive a charge from your batteries. Has upgraded LED ceiling lights. Those were all upgraded. More outlets. The vent we talked about on the outside. Floodlights. Side lights. Which are these fluorescent ones. It has a roll-up rear door. An outlet here on this wall. And then the shower's in this front corner. The shower does take up about 28 inches of this front corner. But if you had to use it as storage, you can see it's not glass. Stuff could be put in there. Um, the curtain does cover, works great. We put an upgraded shower head in that does work like a regular RV shower head where you can turn it on and off. There's a vent in the shower there. There's some storage here with the ladder, and then of course the ceiling vents. So it works out great if you're taking a shower, you can just vent and let out all the steam. Works very well. Just do one more scan of this room. And get an idea. Great place to put razor, side-by-side, -side, smart car, ATVs, dogs, dog kennels, great for dog shows. You could even wash the dog right in the shower. You could have kennels set up in here. Would be great for show dogs. Harleys, pretty much anything you want.